Today, I'm super excited to share with you how to start and grow a successful membership site using school. If you're looking to build a thriving online community and offer valuable courses, then this video is for you. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because we're going to share some powerful strategies to both enroll and retain members. Also, towards the end of the video, we're going to show you a brief overview of how to use the school platform. All right, let's dive right in. The first question you might be asking is why choose school over some other platforms like Kajabi and Teachable? The key difference is school's focus on community. And we actually have a video on the channel comparing school to Kajabi. We'll be sure to leave that link down below in the description if you want to check that video out as well. Now, while other platforms are great for hosting content, school is designed to foster interactions and relationships among its members. It's super user friendly and relatively affordable, costing $99 per month to manage. Now, this sounds like a lot of money, but if you have a community and you're charging $10 per person per month to cover your cost, you only need 10 users to sign up. Okay, next is school's interface is intuitive, making it super easy for both you and your members to navigate their site. This simplicity allows you to focus more on creating great content and less on dealing with a bunch of technical issues. The platform's layout is clean and straightforward, which is going to help in reducing the learning curve for new users. We'll show you the platform here a little bit later on in the video, so be sure to stick around. Next is affordability. At that $99 price point per month, school offers excellent value for the features it offers. That includes hosting multiple courses, community management tools, and integrated payment processing. Compared to other platforms that charge separately for some of these features, school all-in-one pricing is quite competitive. Next, let's talk about some community features. One of school's standout features is its community forum. Members are directed here as soon as they log in, allowing them to post updates, comment, and interact with the community just like a Facebook group, but without the distraction. This setup helps keep your members engaged and focused on your content and community. Unlike Facebook, where notifications and ads can pull your attention away, school provides a dedicated space for your members to connect and engage with one another and your content. School allows you to post events and pin important updates. This is great for announcing coaching calls, live sessions, or any other significant activities. Pinning posts ensures that critical information is always available to members. For instance, you can pin a post about an upcoming Q&A event or some other special event to keep it at the top of the feed. Another powerful tool inside of school is its leaderboard system. This gamifies the member's experience by rewarding engagement and participation in your community. Members can earn points for activities like posting, commenting, and attending events. This not only incentivizes participation, but also creates a fun and interactive environment for your members. Within this gamification, you can set up different levels or ranks in your community. For example, a new member might start at level one, and as they engage more, they unlock new content, receive badges, or earn special privileges. This keeps members motivated and active within the community. Next, let's talk about course management and scheduling. Managing courses on school is a breeze. You can host multiple courses and control who has access to what. Scheduling live sessions and sending email reminders ensures that your members never miss an event. School also allows you to create different tiers of membership, each with access to specific courses. This means you can offer a basic membership with core content and a premium membership with additional more advanced courses and content. This tiered approach not only adds value, but also provides a clear path for your members to progress and invest more in your offerings. Let's talk about live sessions and reminders. The built-in scheduling feature allows you to organize live sessions, Q&A calls, and networking events. You can easily add these events to a calendar, complete with Zoom links or any other meeting URLs. School's email system ensures ensures that your members are always informed and never miss an important event. This is crucial for fostering high engagement levels and maintaining a strong sense of community. Another neat feature about school is that it integrates payment processing, allowing you to set up subscription pages and handle billing seamlessly. This means you can easily manage subscriptions and set up your own pricing, providing a smooth experience for both you and your members. Along with this, you can create a dedicated subscription page where members can sign up and pay for their membership. So you don't have to worry about chasing down payments or dealing with complex financial setups. The integrated system simplifies the process and ensures a steady revenue stream. Now let's talk about how to enroll members in your school membership site. Webinars are super effective and school has the capability to allow you to host these. By offering a free training, you can showcase the benefits of your membership program and transition viewers into paying members. So here you're going to create a landing page, collect emails, and use follow-up emails to keep registrants engaged. And at the end of the webinar, you can go ahead and pitch your membership offer. This method allows you to provide value up front and build trust with your potential members. Let's briefly talk about some webinar best practices. The first one is to create a compelling landing page. Highlight the benefits of your webinar and what your attendees will learn. Second is use email follow-ups. You can use automated email sequences to remind registrants about the webinar and provide them with necessary links. Three is to create engaging content. During the webinar, use slides and visuals to keep the audience's attention and at the end, seamlessly transition into pitching your membership program. Lastly is organic content. You can also leverage organic content platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram to drive traffic to your 
sign up pages. Create engaging videos and posts that offer a glimpse of the value that your membership provides and include a call to action directing viewers to register for your webinars or join your membership. Let's talk briefly about paid advertising. If you have the budget, you might consider using paid advertising on platforms like Facebook. You can create targeted ads that highlight the benefits of your membership and drive traffic to your sign up or webinar registration pages. Here are some tips for paid ads. First, you need to target your ideal audience. You want to make sure that you use detailed targeting to reach the people who are most likely going to be interested in your content. Two is compelling ad copy. Write clear and persuasive ad copy that highlights the unique benefits of your membership. Three is A-B testing. Test different ad creatives and copy to see what works best, and then you can optimize your campaigns accordingly. Lastly, number four is live challenges. These are a fantastic way to engage potential members. These multi-day events involve live sessions and interactive tasks, creating a deeper connection within your community. Here's some tips for running a successful challenge, and then I promise you we're going to get into showing you the platform. Number one is to plan your content. Outline what you're going to cover each day or each session and prepare any of the materials that you'll need. Number two is to engage your audience. Use live sessions to interact with your participants and to keep them motivated. Number three is to provide value. Ensure each session offers valuable insights and truly actionable steps. And lastly, number four is pitch at the end. At the conclusion of your challenge, pitch your membership program to participants that have already seen the value that you provided for them. Okay, now that we've talked about how to create a successful membership site with school and how to be effective with it, let's show you how to navigate some of the main features on the platform. Go ahead and click our special link down below in the description of the video, and it should bring you to a page that looks similar to this. Let's go ahead and enter our information and email here, and then we can get started. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and click sign up, and then we'll just have to verify our email. And you'll see that with our special link, you do get a 14 day free trial to school. So you can really try this at no risk to you. Let's go ahead and enter our group name here. And then we're going to enter our credit card information here as well. Like I said, if you don't want to continue after the 14 days, you can cancel your free trial. But just know that after that 14 days, you're going to get charged that $99 per month. When you're ready to get started, go ahead and click start free trial. All right. The first thing that it asks here is for us to create our profile. So let's go ahead and upload a picture. So we'll go ahead and do that here. And then we can also add a bio here. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click complete. And it gives you a great little starting place here to set up your group. So you can invite three people, add a group description, set a cover image, write your first post. These are all the steps that they include to help guide you along the process. We'll go over a quick overview to make sure you know everything to get started. So let's go ahead and click settings here on the bottom right hand corner. This is your community within school. Now these are all the settings within this community. So let's go ahead and play around with some of them. So let's go to the dashboard first. So the dashboard, obviously we have zero paid members right now. We have zero monthly recurring revenue. All these stats won't have anything now because we just created our membership site. Once you get active members that are paying for your subscription, you'll see that information here under the payouts page. You can also just type in emails here and then it'll send it to them, which is pretty cool. Let's go to general here. You can change the icon as well as the cover photo for your group, which is going to be good. You can go ahead and give it a description. You can change the color. You can also make this public or private. Here is the pricing. Now, in order to add a price, you have to connect your bank account. We won't show you the full process here because it's super simple, but basically you just click add price and then you go ahead and click connect to a bank. Then you choose your country here and then it'll take you to this page where you put in your email and you basically choose which bank you have and it connects very seamlessly. Once you've connected your bank account, another line item like this free option here will pop up and then you can choose the price that you want to set for people joining your community. Okay, there's categories and rules here. You can edit these. These are kind of cool. It gives you some base rules like be positive, no self-promotion, make an effort. Then when you go down to tabs, it gives you information on the classroom and calendar here. The plugins are kind of neat. You can go ahead and ask questions to members when they initially get into your program. So let's go ahead and click edit. You can turn this on and then you can add a question like, hey, how did you hear about us? What's your email? You can gather all that information and it's going to ask them those questions as soon as they're admitted into your community. There's some other neat plugins here that you can play around with. If you want to see metrics, you can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go down to gamification. This is really important. We'll show you a little bit of this later on as well, but there's basically different levels like we talked about earlier and community members can gain points based on their interaction with the community. This can be a really great incentive. They can unlock courses or merch or whatever you want to do here. Then there's a discovery section here, which can help you get better seen, but you need a minimum threshold in terms of posting and activity to get discovered within school's algorithm. Under links, you can add a link here if you'd like. And then if you go to billing and affiliates, that'll show you your payment method here. And you can also update that and send out your affiliate link. As you can see, school is super easy to use, super seamless. That section was just dealing within your community. Let's go ahead and show you some of the other things like classroom, calendar, members, leaderboard, and about. So for classroom, you can add a new course here. You can change the course name, the description, and you have different privacy levels, whether you want it to be open to everyone or private, and there's everything in between here. Under calendar, you can create your first calendar event. This is going to be great for creating Q and A's, happy hours, co-working sessions, live webinars, whatever you want. It can be on this calendar and people will get notified about the event. Now let's talk about members. I'm the only member currently. We can go ahead and invite other members. And this is where you're going to be able to see everybody and whether they're online currently.
currently, which is pretty cool. You'll also be able to see their subscription type, like whether they're on the seven day trial that you might offer them, or if they're a full time paid member. In terms of the leaderboard, here's where we see all the different levels that we provided for incentives. This is the whole gamification aspect of school. So right now we have zero members on all levels, but as you create those incentives for people, they're going to rise up in the ranks and then you'll have people all over the chart here. Lastly, in terms of about, you can go ahead and change this information. You can add a description and upload an image. Like we said earlier, this is going to create a cohesive membership site for you and your community. Now, last thing I wanted to show you here, because it's not very intuitive to create another community in school, you click these two arrows here. It's easy to miss. So if you want to create another community, you can go ahead and do that. All right, guys, that is everything we have for you today on how to create a successful membership site using school by leveraging its features and following the strategies we shared today, you can create an engaging and profitable membership program. And like I said earlier, we'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description to school where you can get your 14 day free trial. Also guys, that is an affiliate link. So we do get a small referral fee at no additional cost to you if you choose to sign up. And this really helps us keep creating free videos like this for you. So thank you so much in advance for helping us out there. Lastly, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future, please leave us a like, subscribe, comment down below and hit that notification bell. This channel is dedicated to help you start and grow your first website. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. We wish you the best in building your school community and we'll see you back soon in the next video.